Hi, John. How are you? Get what? I'm pretty good. How are you? Are I'm you a good? little cramped, but I'm are good. You I know. Yeah. We're a little close, yeah. but you know. I am so grateful that we are here today because I have had so many questions. I am newly involved with this wonderful organization, the UCP of the Inland Empire. And I wanted to be able to have you share with everybody a little bit about what this mission is and why it's so important for everybody to know about. Gotcha. Well, UCP, it's United Cerebral Palsy, the Inland Empire. We serve families that have an individual with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, autism, and other intellectual and uh, developmental delays. That's amazing. So how did you get involved? Wow. Well, so I actually grew up in a family with a sister that had Down syndrome. So I've been exposed to those with disabilities my whole life. Um, and then later in life, when I decided to have a second child, my wife and I, we ended up with twins and one of my boys had cerebral palsy. And that's when we first utilized the services of UCP. That's amazing. One of the things that I find is pretty incredible because I am not a parent that has had to deal with this, but I have had some challenges because being a parent in general is difficult. Now we have some programs here that really help with people that and families that are going through some hard times. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. So we definitely focus on the individual with the disability, but we also expand that to the families that are supporting. So one of our larger programs is a respite program. So we've hired over 300 employees that have first aid and CPR training to go into the homes and provide relief to the primary caregiver. I'm going to tell you guys, that makes me so happy. The fact that we generate jobs. We're not only a nonprofit organization that's amazing for our community, but we are all, all, we're also doing an amazing economic development. With 300 jobs in the Inland Empire, that's, that's actually incredible. Yeah, in fact, we have 80 openings just in the Coachella Valley alone right now. So we're continuing to add to our... And it's, that's the entire, that's the, so it's not just the Coachella Valley, it's also the Inland Empire. So that is the entire Riverside County and San Bernardino County, exactly. correct? Yes. So now, um, really, you guys, we want your help spreading the word, right? I mean, one of the things that when I came on board here, I was so excited because I have been very involved in the community. Um, I love our valley. I love all of our incredible nonprofits, seriously, so many. But to be able to get involved with this organization that impacts such a large amount of folks, because this isn't just for children, right? Right. Yeah, no, we, um, so we're really trying to introduce programs that are cradle to grave and um, we don't time out. With our respite program in particular, we have clients that are in their 60s. That's amazing. Yeah. See, it's so, there's so much information. I mean, we have after school programs too. Um, we have like, so we have karate. Like, tell me about the karate program. So the karate program, I mean, it's hard for me to really explain, but we have a dojo that we're working with. We have Sensei Tamara that will work with approximately a dozen children at, children at a time. And they actually earn a legitimate black belt if they stick with the course long enough. I love that. Now, yeah. she's not our only coach, right? We're opening for other opportunities for other people who might want to get involved with our clients. Um, we are focusing with just Tamara at this time, but she has brought in other senseis to support her. And we do more than just karate too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we what? have yoga and CrossFit as well. Uh, we also have, um, you know, with the pandemic, we went to kind of a Zoom format. So we introduced like a dance party that's every Friday that's a big hit as well. Oh, that's, I love that. So, so if you, right, if you're out and about and you're listening to this and you're going, oh my gosh, I really want to get involved with the UCP of the Inland Empire, what would you tell them to do first? Well, I think it would be wise to go to our website. We've got a comprehensive website that basically outlines each individual program we have. There's also the opportunity to donate to support the programs. Um, and then there's just a lot of uh, fre frequently asked questions that we provide info on. And there's also blog posts too. So we have little articles and updates and we did have, my first like two weeks I was here, we got to be a part of our adaptive bike program giveaway and awarded two amazing bikes. Tell me about that. That was so exciting. I was like yeah. so happy about that. So uh, UCP has been giving away custom adaptive bikes since 2012. 
These bikes range anywhere from $3,500 to $5,000, and they're not covered by health benefits. So we raise money through our fundraising efforts to try to put as many kids in bikes as possible. Um, over the last few months, we had the opportunity to collaborate with the uh, Firebirds. And not only did we make a custom adaptive bike for two, um, two of our clients, we were able to co-brand them with the Firebird uh, logos. And uh, I mean, it was, they were a huge hit. I love that. Yeah. That's so exciting. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think it'd pretty, be pretty rad if I have a business and I have my logo on an adaptive bike that grows with the client, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so, they're the hottest bikes in the in the desert right now. And they're Freedom Concepts, right? That's who we partner with? So yeah, there's there's different manufacturers, but Freedom Concepts is the one that we've given close to exclusivity. Does it mean that it's only going to be that? Because you never know what the future holds, and we're all about building collaboration and partnerships, right? Yeah, well, and these bikes are quite expensive, and there may be some less expensive options that could meet the needs of an individual, depending on what their needs are. So what is there one thing that you would like everybody to know? I, I know this was just kind of mm. one of the things I wanted to start because I have a lot of people asking me questions about everything that's going on and I wanted them to be able to hear it from you. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, it's amazing, I'm, I'm grateful. So what would be the one thing that you would like everybody to know? I mean, I think for the most part, uh, you know, our name is a little limiting. And so I think what I'd like to leave people with is that we're more than our name. So we're not just CP. With cerebral palsy where we also cater to those with autism, Down syndrome, epilepsy, spina bifida, and many other uh, diagnoses. Thank you, John. No, thank you.